Well, actually, let me get your opinion on this because, um, as I said before, I, I, I do teach Mont Vernon in class often. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I talk about it, I always am like, to highlight that segregated aspect that you mentioned that it's not just the tours, but I feel also the grounds that when you come out of the entrance area, this kind of large new pavilions they built, mm -hmm. they purposefully lead you to the right, lead you to the front of the house, Mm -hmm. And you go up to the house through the, through, the, through the greenery and then you kind of like maybe go to the left or the right once you're done with the house or the tomb or kind of the blacksmith shop. But it's sort of like the back of the, the orangery where the slave housing is. It's sort of like you almost have to search for that slave, um, mm -hmm. that slave resident, not to mention that the other half of that building is turned into a gift shop these days. Um, it seems like this is, it's not just the tours, it's also the grounds that are very much segregated and kind of still on some level to hide the, mm -hmm. um, the institution of slavery. Yes, uh, and that place is interesting also because when it was um, then uh, renovated and reconstructed those slave quarters, uh, there was already at that time a controversy. Of course, that you were referring to a plantation with um, then dozens and dozens of enslaved people. They didn't leave all of them in that um, slave quarters. There were the, the best ones. There were many who lived in the fields. That uh, uh, view of the fields is something that we do not have when we go to, because uh, the idea of when you go to, to visit a plantation today, what we see sometimes are some slave cabins. Right. But the reality of those places at that time, when there were hundreds of people working those places, would be many of right. those cabins. Then you never, you are never able to visualize uh, that when you go, and in, it happens there as well. When you visit the mansion, for example, then anything, there is nothing uh, referring to uh, enslaved people. Then when you get to the kitchen that is outside, this mm -hmm. is when we talk about that. Um, also, the problem that happens in that tour and in other tours is, of course, if I am there, I will ask a question. Uh, but, uh, and sometimes we do, of course, um, just to, to, to provoke, but uh, if you don't ask, perhaps nothing is going to be said uh, about right. this. Uh, then uh, it's something that is, is very complicated to, to, to mention. And I mentioned that when uh, we were discussing in the book club um, the last week, that Monticello said that they would, um, they, they would, uh, I, I don't know what is the, the, the phase that uh, the, the um, the tour of the mansion, that they would uh, finish that, that they would either reformulate or the tour as it existed would no longer exist. But uh, I don't think that is, is still the case because Mon Monticello at this point, I think that they are closed. Mon Vernon is, is open uh, during mm. now. They, they are open since uh, the reopening. Then I, I went there uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, they are still having visits to the mansion and so on. Um, but uh, it's still under the same terms. Then, mm -hmm. uh, and now you can even take pictures of the inside of the mansion and so on. Perhaps they have plans to introduce the slavery uh, there in the mansion as well. But overall, the reality is what you are referring to. Then it's still hidden 